all ready for cooler temperatures. Even if we have to drive about an hour and a half to escape, we're gonna do it. So uh, come along with us. We'll see what trouble we can get into. I mean, what fun we can have. <laughs> Work never ends, even when you're out tasting wine. <laughs> and we have the 2018 La Serrano. It's made mostly with the owner and the song. I think this was the one I really liked last time. Yeah, this is a favorite amongst everybody. We will see. Okay, so I am tasting. Let me get it in front of me again. I'm doing the chilled flight. And I'm on La Serrana. Sorry, I didn't taste either one of these. So far, I really liked this one more than this one. Um, this one finished a little flat for me. Um, and Chardonnays can be a little flat sometimes. Um, but uh, the La Serrana, so it is... 53% Vignet and 46% Rosan. So we will see. We have a little swirl. I smell just a little bit of sweetness, a little fruit. Yep, definitely a little more fruit. A little bit of apricot, I think. Which can be typical when you do like a Sauvignon Blanc, something like that. Um, yep. About all I'm getting right now. I did get a little vanilla on the bouquet, and I'm getting it on the taste as well. A little bit, um, a little vanilla. Little pears. Really light fruit. That's really nice. And I think this was my pick last time we came. I think this was the one that I chose to go ahead and have a glass of. Very nice. I'll save Robert a little bit to taste as well. Okay, tell us what you're tasting. 2017 El Serrano. It's 53% Shiraz, 32% La Vedra, and 15% Petit Shiraz. Dark fruits, earth, smoked meats, well balanced. You can drink right out of the bottle, or you can put it up for five years. Ah. It'll be even better. So what uh, year are you drinking? Two seven, 2017. 2017, okay. So right at three, four years maybe. Mm. Definitely smoky. Smoky, all right. What causes the smoky okay? I'm not sure. I think it's maybe the earthiness. The in barrels, the, maybe. In the soil. Usually the barrels will give it vanilla, but I think maybe it can give it some of the smokiness, too. That's really good. It's not um, over the top. Okay. But it's full body, for sure. Full body. Yeah. It's nice. Good red. Good Shiraz. Cheers. We're at Page Spring Cellars, and we ask about uh, volunteer harvesting, but it's been a really bizarre year, and they are already done. They uh, rush through everything and are finished for the year, so maybe next year.
Dolce Pizzeria. Uh, it's kind of on the corner of, I think it's 89A as you go through Main Street uh, here in Cottonwood. Really good little uh, eatery so far, loving the service and um, the appetizer that we've already had is really good. So uh, I'll show you, give you a little bit of a tour. Zinfandel. So, I'm gonna try. Slight bit of apricot there. Very nice, very nice. Here we 
good temperature too. And a slight bit of vanilla in there. Really good. We are at the Iron Horse Inn. Really cute little hotel that we've discovered and we really like. Really simple, but fun. Love the way this courtyard lights up at night. So pretty. And then they have, of course, a vending machine here. But there's also ice machine, coffee machine in there in the morning for guests. Last time we stayed at room or in room 103. This time we're in 102. Or I'm sorry. 103 and 203. Just up the stairs. I'll do a room tour for you as well. have a business center that you can use. I'm assuming there's computers and such in there. Off street parking because this is on Main Street in downtown Cottonwood, Old Town Cottonwood. So there is a free parking lot behind.
two acres of antiques. Larry's antiques and things. Let's go check it out. Sailboat. Got a couple nautical things here and there. I can't turn my back for a minute. He climbed in the truck. It's gonna get us thrown out of here. Get out! <laughs> what are you doing in there? <laughs> End. Don't see this every day. Locals, 35 cents a call. Oh, it was 50 when I was growing up. Acres and acres is right. I want to give you guys a quick room tour of uh, room 203 at the Iron Horse Inn. Coming up these stairs, the second story, 203. There we go. So it's a queen size bed, air conditioner, wall air conditioner, little chair there. I like that they have kind of a little kitchenette. You get a microwave, get a refrigerator, complimentary water bottles, which aren't there anymore because we've drank the water. <laughs> and uh, you have a safe. This is a little closet area, shelf up above. Very nice. Floor length mirror. Nice size television. And the, the blinds, you know, you just pull down and put back up. They're a cellulose blind. There's the bathroom. Pocket door just to mac maximize space. Sink and mirror. Nothing over the top fancy, but just right. Nice walk-in tile shower. 
Water was hot. It is softened water, which was really nice. Little tile shelf there. So yeah, we really enjoyed our stay. This is our second stay here again at the Iron Horse. And um, yeah, we've just really enjoyed it. We find it really comfortable. Um, try to show you the view from our room as well. Each of the rooms overlooks this patio area. There's Robert down there. And uh, we just have fun sitting out there at night and sharing a bottle of wine and having some hors d'oeuvres to kind of finish off our sightseeing day. Again, this is room 203 at the Iron Horse Inn in downtown Cottonwood.